Hi friends. Hello, hello. Just typing in here in the chat. Don't lead to new. Oh my God, you can't type. Destinations. There we go. She got it, baby. Hi, my friend. How are you? Hello, hello. Hi, friends. It's Monday. It's Monday? It's Monday. <laughs> it's Monday. How are we feeling? What are the vibes? Let me know. Uh, welcome, welcome to the Misfit Light. This is the third week in our four week session for May. Uh, we've been talking all about kind of this new self, this new sense of self that we're walking into. You know, um, April was this like wildly just deconstructive and like transformational time and so much has been happening. And I know so many of you that tune into the Misfit Light uh, both here live and then that watch it later are very much on this like hashtag journey and moving into what it is that you know is really next for you. And I always say I can only teach the things that I know. Um, so mama has been learning <laughs> rapid lessons. Uh, she is so tired. Hi, my friend. How are you? Hello. Hello. Um, I am. Yeah. So, so tired from all of just the lessons and keeping up and uh, there's a lot, a lot moving and a lot shaking. So this week we are talking all about these new paths. So many of us are wanting to do things uh, differently. We're wanting to create new things for ourselves, new ways of being, and we're probably still trying to go about those things with routines, rhythms, networks, ways of being that have worked for us before. You probably know where this is going. Um, and that may not be working, right? And I know I know you and you're like, Rachel, I need an example. I need a little example. I think last week I shared about my journey of caffeine and I have, you know, I quit drinking in 2018. I quit smoking in 2018. And I'm like, okay, the worst is over. And then as soon as my body, I was like, oh, are, are we going to have to give up caffeine right now? Because like now I'm pissed. Okay. I was like, booze is one thing. Smokes are another thing. But I was like, caffeine? No, thank you. But it has been giving me really bad anxiety. I was having panic attacks. I'm like, what's going on? And I'm thinking that it's hormonal issues or this or that. I went to the doctor. I could not be healthier. What a, what a beautiful thing to learn. Um, but it's the caffeine. It's the caffeine. And what I was realizing was like, oh, yeah, because all of these new places – that I'm moving towards, that you are moving towards, all these new places that you're wanting to go are requiring new rhythms, new ways of being. So for me, it's like, oh yeah, my body's way more attuned. You know, uh, for those of you that have heard me share, if you listen to the podcast, you know, I started on this, you know, kind of like hashtag body journey in August of last year. So this has been a while. And through clearing all this stuff out and becoming aware of what my body really needs, I was like, oh, okay. So I'm officially on day five of no caffeine. And I'm going to tell you what, I don't love it. I don't love it. Um, but I do feel way better. I like my energy levels, although I'm like adjusting where I'm like, oh, this is like my normal, like actual level of energy, you know, versus where it's like, I'm used to being like just dialed in and like geeked out. And it's like, well, yeah, this is like your actual energy level, which I think is, Again, I, I share from my perspective because I know that you can layer that onto what it is that you're experiencing. And for me, I know everything that is required of me right now, everything that I'm moving through that I'm being asked to do is requiring new rhythms, right? It's asking me to do something different. So if you have the free workbook, I make a free workbook every week. Um, so it's the link in bio. You can go and grab that. It's always available to you. So I said this week on the Misfit Light is new paths. Old roads won't lead to new paths. This is a time to be daring, not risky, 
but daring. There's an absolute subtle difference and it's time to dare to do it differently. So your ideas, hear me right now, hear me, require new paths. Your ideas, your future, where you're going, what you're manifesting. Oh, that's good. <laughs> I'm glad you like it, right? Yeah, it's, it is going to require new ways of being, new paths, doing things differently. And, um, and then I have a cute little thing. So, so now let's trailblaze. Like we're going to make it sound like it's really fun. And it is, it is like where you are and what you're wanting to do. And maybe that's, um, you know, for even for those of us with kids, you're going into summer. So you're literally going to have a new like rhythm and way of doing things. And, you know, new paths, new rhythms are not easy in the beginning because you haven't done them before. But that's just what I want you to remember as you're going through and you're doing these things is that if you're uncomfortable, then it's working. I have been so, you know, from my ears to God's mouth, or my, the opposite, that's how it was with no caffeine, actually, that's exactly how it's been, um, is, is so uncomfortable. I feel so uncomfortable and itchy in my body and like all of these new things it's asking me to do, all of this work I'm doing behind the scenes, and I don't love it, I don't love it, but I know that that is what is required of me. I know that it's not forever, but we have to be willing to be uncomfortable to get to the other side. We have to be willing to follow that um, higher power guidance, whether that's God for you, whether that's however you identify, whatever that intuition is that's letting you know it is time to do something different, it is time to move forward, you are going to have to make yourself uncomfortable in order to get there. So this is all about faith right now. This is all about faith and trust because you have no physical guarantee, right? Right now it feels like there is no physical evidence of like, yeah, this is going to work out, right? We're just like, well, I'm pretty sure this is what I'm supposed to be doing and where I'm supposed to be going. So I'm just going to keep going, right? So if you feel in that phase, you're not alone is what I'm saying. Okay. So in the workbook, again, there's a free workbook free workbook for you. It's available every week. Link in the bio. You can go and grab it. You can also DM me uh, on literally any story slide and just DM Misfit and it will be automatically sent to your inbox. So it could not be easier. Every week I ask three questions. The reason that there's only three is that scientifically we can only take in and or have an output of three things at a time. So that's why these are the three questions that I want you to hold for yourself right now. And it's all around this idea of new paths, new rhythms, new way of moving through the world. So the first one is I've outgrown. Okay, not a question, more of like a, you have a thought. But um, so below that I say, what old ways of doing things have you outgrown? Uh, maybe social media strategies, friendship circles, dating apps. Have I joined? If not, where do I go? I was notified you were starting alive. You have joined. You are here. If not, where do I go? I was notified. Yes. You were live. You were in it. Oh, you may be asking about the workbook. If that, you can go, don't worry about grabbing it right now, but I will DM it to you when we jump off because you can, you can use it again later. Um, but that's a good question. So, uh, yeah, what are the old ways of doing things that you've outgrown? Social media strategies, friendship circles, dating apps, right? Your job, like where are you at where you're like, oh, this is no longer as I identify in alignment with me, right? I know that's a real, you know, like, uh, you know, five letter word score right now, the word alignment, but really all that means is, uh, is it true for you? Is it true for you? Right. Um, anything that gives you that, uh, feeling that means it's probably not and never anything that makes you go ooh like when you perk forward that's for you right it's literally physically calling you okay um and so again for me I've outgrown caffeine I can't do it anymore I don't like this right this is not asking you like do you like the things that you <laughs> where you're at it's just asking you to take a look at that, right? Um, there's a lot of other things in my life I feel like I've outgrown, but more than that is now the second question, which is I am ready for. Social media is definitely not true for anyone still here for things like this though. I feel you. And because of that, Laura, there's so much that's changing um, with the way that like I'm doing things and showing up here and what I'm offering and all sorts of stuff. So that's definitely a growth 
edge for me right now is figuring out how to take all of this and do it next. So I hear that. So the next question is, I am ready for, and I'm asking, what are you ready for now? Right? What are you ready for now? What paths can you begin to trailblaze now? Right? So again, for me, it was like, okay, I know I've outgrown the way in which I was doing things, which was like, all right, I'll just, you know, I'll overwork myself and then I'll drink too much coffee and then I'll crash and then I'll drink more coffee. Like just that rhythm alone. And I can no longer blame it on like, well, I'm a tired mom. I'm a tired mom. So like, I just need it. It's like, well, maybe you wouldn't be so tired if your blood sugar wasn't so out of whack because you're overdoing it with caffeine, right? I'm not saying that caffeine is evil, but it's like anything else. When you overindulge in it, it's no longer servicing you, right? So for me, I realized I was like, oh, I'm ready for no caffeine. I'm ready to learn what my natural rhythms are because I'm taking on more and more in my business. I'm taking on more and more clients. I'm stepping out more and more. And this vision, this this version of me six months from now will not come into reality. I will not get there. She will cease to be if I am not moving through rhythms and moving through things in the way that best services me and doing that with caffeine is is not going to cut it right so what are the things that you are ready for now what are these new paths that you're ready for now right um and then the third question is who else is doing it their way and i said who else is doing it their way without apology i feel like when you as the things that you want, as the things that you look for, as the things that you move through, you're going to want to look for the people that are ahead of you. Who are the people? That's the thing. It's always easy for us. We're like, oh, that person has what I want. Or, oh, it's the this compare and despair all the time rather than going, that's your goalpost. I'm not saying that you have to do it the same way as everybody else, but it's like, that's your goalpost. If you feel like, I don't know where this leads, I don't know where I'm going, look for the people that are ahead of you. Look for the people who are showing up in the world the way that you want to show up. And if you feel like none of those are being revealed to you, it's like that's a great thing to ask for in prayer, for in meditation, right? It's like being aware of those things. Hey, that's what I'm looking for. I'm looking for a community that's a little bit ahead of me. I'm really, you know, I'm really looking for people that can kind of help guide me. And that doesn't even necessarily mean that's like a coach or somebody that you work with. I mean, again, while we know there's a lot of things that we dislike about social media, that's a an amazing thing about social media, which is like you can find and or learn from just energetically so many people. How are they showing up? What are they doing? What are they sharing? Right? So it's like it is a free kind of resource of everyone's collective knowledge, gifts, and offerings. And also <laughs> it's, uh, you know, uh, a cesspool of uh, our less than attractive traits as being humans, but uh, it's like an inspirational Pinterest. Yeah, it can be when we use it like that, right? So who else is doing it their way without an apology? And I feel like there's going to be so much that comes up for each of you just by looking at those three questions. And I feel like I also, you know, the reason that I slowed down, sorry, I have to close my eyes sometimes because I get a lot of thoughts that come in and I'm super ADD. So if I close my eyes, I can be more clear. This month, the rapid growth and change that you've experienced in this year, but definitely through March and April, was so significant that if you are feeling fatigued and or you feel really buzzy, you have all this energy, but you almost feel like too much energy that you don't really know how to harness yet, that's okay. When we're feeling like this, it's not the time for like great action. It's not the time to like seize the day. Right now, it's the time to slow down and like integrate and be with what wants to be here, right? Like what, what does it want to teach you? What does this energy, this lack of energy, this influx of energy, what does it want to teach you? And the more that we're like, oh, I got to figure it out or, oh, I got it. This, the whole reason that May's entire um, lesson plan essentially is, you know, all of May, this whole session was harnessing the new you. I broke it down into all four weeks. We went over security, surroundings, new paths, and then give and take. 
and having to sit in that and learn, okay, here's where we've been, here's where we are, and like, okay, that's where I'm trying to get to. Great, let this be your bridge. Stop trying to get to places that you don't have a vehicle to get there yet, right? It's like, Some of y'all are out here being like, well, anything's in walking distance if you have the time. It's like, just stop. Stop trying to get to places that you're not meant to be yet. Just slow down. That one's mostly for me, but maybe it's for you too, right? And so that's what this month specifically, and I think the first part of June, um, and even this summer, you know, that's the best thing about summer is um, everybody's enjoying it. Everybody is using it as time to relax, reconnect, uh, unplug, all of these things. So we don't need you in rapid succession of doing things, of moving or whatever. Like you are allowed to integrate and take time and also begin to take messy action. I've been doing that. And it's, I also don't like it. I really, I don't like it. There's a lot where I'm like, okay, that didn't work. Okay, that didn't work. All right, let's try this again. But again, new paths. So if I keep trying to do things or operate in my life in the world the way that I did before, I'm not going to get to where it is that I'm trying to go and neither will you. So I really trust that, you know, if you haven't gotten the workbook, go and look at the workbook or anything that sparked for you. Again, if you get one thing out of this that you take away and you're like, oh yes, that was the thing for me. Awesome. That's it, right? Because that's just the collective energy. That's just what it is that we're all going through. And so there's going to be parts that are for you, parts that are for you, and maybe just that are parts that are for me, right? So being able to make that discernment is really all we're looking for. So again, going back over self-security, our surroundings, what is around us that is making us feel safe, that is making us feel connected, right? Hi, Sarah. And making us feel good. And then now we're really having to look at what are the new paths that we're ready to take? Oh, thank you. I'm so glad you're here. I'm so glad you're here, right? What are the new paths that we're ready to take? How are we ready to do it differently? And knowing um, that some of those new paths are going to be really exciting and very attractive, and some of them are going to suck, and they're going to be uncomfortable, and you're going to feel like you're crawling out of your skin, and it's because you are creating new neuro pathways. You are creating new ways of doing things, and you're showing up in the world ways that you haven't before. You're literally having and experiencing growing pains. So if nothing else, allow that to be evidence that what you're doing is working, that what you're moving towards is getting closer and closer, okay? And then next week, I'll be back here, same time, 8.15 Eastern, yeah, Uh, 8.15 Eastern, and we're gonna talk all about give and take, that we have to give that energy that we're wanting to receive. So if you know energetically, like, okay, boom, I'm ready to get in this new phase. Like, I'm truly ready to welcome a very large audience of people. I've worked up my stamina. I've created the, you know, foundation in my life. I have done all these things. I'm like, all right, like, boom, let's go. Okay, I'm ready for them. Let's go. And in that process, there's still going to be so many steps of getting there. And it's also going to be like, I've got to give to them what I want. What it is that I'm wanting to receive. This is a reciprocal relationship, friends. For those of you that I know personally and some that it's, you know, we know each other or or maybe I I don't don't even have the, um, have not had the luxury of meeting you yet, right? Uh, Whether virtually or in person. And this is a relationship and that's the reason why it works. And so I have to become so aware of what am I giving? Am I giving something that makes people Think, am I giving something that makes people want to come back, want to connect with themselves? Because that's what it is that I'm wanting to do. So we're going to break that down next week. And then I'm going to wrap us up with a meditation. And then we're just, we're going for it. And then friends, we are going dark for the summer. The Misfit Light is going to come in for a landing. I've learned a lot of lessons through doing it this way, but I'm really, really excited to show you Uh, In very, very early fall, all of the new fixins and all of the new ways that we are doing this. So it's still going to be easy to connect. There's going to be more that I'm offering you uh, and more time slots and more spaces. We're going to do like some more kind of like round tables and groups so you can come into a group. So there is a lot that's going to be going on 
Um, oh, I love this. And give and take, I always thought it was only the amount of work you do, but I think it's also energetically. I am now giving calm, or I'm now giving people calm work, not stressed, and giving that back. Exactly. Exactly. When you're energetically showing up in the way that it is that you want to receive, that's what becomes available to you. And that's one of those things of like, we have so many subconscious blocks. Like I feel like, excuse my French, fucking Mario. The amount of just like punching through blocks of stuff that I'm like, maybe it's Donkey Kong where I'm like, didn't even know I thought that. Didn't even know that was in there. And I'm just like constantly just punching to the other side because I I, refre- I refuse to allow where I am now to be as far as I go. And, you know, I've been feeling a lot where I'm like, man, I haven't felt this much of like an energetic jump since I quit drinking in 2018. Like what was required of me then to get to where I am now was so much in such a short amount of time. And that's how I feel now. So if you feel like you are doing the work, if you are in it, I see you. I love you. You got this because I am right there with you. Okay. So again, go check out the workbook. You can DM me at any time. Misfit, it will be automatically sent to you. That's also true for any post that I make. So it's open for any post. Even if you just see something and you remember, just comment Misfit and then you'll have it sent to your DM. Nice and easy. So again, next week is our last week of this season, this series of the Misfit Light. And then I'm bringing it in for a landing for summer. And then we're coming back with lots and lots, excuse me, of fun ways to connect, to get involved. This is going uh, live. There's a lot of really uh, cool things that I'm going to be bringing in the fall. So I'm really excited. But I need to rest during the summer um, because on our, my other business, our production company, we just bought or it's under contract now, a building for our physical studio space. So there is so much happening. And so I need to kind of put this one thing down, focus on that, get that going, and then come back around the other side. So I'm so glad that you all are here. I'm so glad that you're doing the work because we need so many of us to keep doing this work and keep healing and showing up and making people laugh and being of service. Um, and you know, you get one life and I just want you to be happy, baby. It's that simple. You know what I mean? Like we get one time around, it's your life. It's, it's not about what everybody else thinks. Like, please enjoy yourself. Enjoy yourself. Okay. Party your damn pants off because we get one time and it's happening now. Okay. All right. I love you so much. Be kind to yourself. I will see you here next week. All right. Love you. Mean it.